In this session, we will introduce the deep learning technology used in speech recognition. First, we briefly look at the application and the development of neural networks in speech recognition tasks. In the year 1990s, several simple neural networks were tried to be used in continuous speech recognition such as time delay NM and MLP combined with HMM. However, spot vector machine performed better than neural network and became more popular than ANM at the time. Until the year 2006, the technique of deep belief networks was invented by Hinton and was successfully used in speech recognition with the scheme of DBN combined with HMM. Then Li and his co-workers extended their work and realized the scheme of DNN combined with HMM. Speech recognition has entered the DNN area, and the accuracy has been significantly improved in 2011, Microsoft researchers demonstrated that deep neural networks interfaced with a hidden Markov model with context-dependent states that define the neural network output layer and can dramatically reduce errors in large vocabulary speech recognition tasks, such as vowel search. In 2011, Google launched the DNNASR products. From the year 2012, deep learning technology began to widely studied. Hinton and other co-authors provide an overview of the progress and successes in using DNN for acoustic modeling and give a dominant Paradigm for ASR. Deep neural networks for acoustic modeling in speech recognition. In 2014, Baidu used the CTC trained RNN to break the switchboard HUB 500 speech recognition benchmark without a traditional speech processing methods. In 2015, Google's speech recognition experienced a 49% improvement through CTC-trained LSTM. Neural networks has been used in speech recognition for more than 20 years. With the emergency of deep learning technology, neural network has brought some new technical improvements to speech recognition. Network layers become deeper and deeper. There are more hidden layers, from the original one layer to six and seven layers. Moreover, the network becomes wider with more hidden nodes and more output nodes, from 100 nodes to 5 or 10,000 nodes. The larger the network model capacity, the more training data needed. For example, DNN-based speech recognition needs 10 to 20 hours training data with small model capacity and needs 300 to 10,000 hours training data with big model capacity. Speech recognition systems with GMM and HMM models were used widely and developed slowly for a long time. In such systems, HMM was used to deal with the temporal variability of speech, and the GMM was used to determine how well each state of each HMM fits a frame or one feature vector that represents the acoustic input. An alternative way to evaluate the fit is to use a 
feed-forward neural network that takes several frames of coefficients as input and produces posterior probabilities over HMS days as output. Deep neural networks with many hidden layers that are trained using new methods have been shown to outperform Gaussian mixture models on a variety of speech recognition benchmarks. In the year 2010, Lu Dong and Deng Li of Microsoft Research applied DNN technology to continuous speech recognition tasks with large vocabulary, that is, LVCSR task, which greatly reduced the, the speech recognition error rate. The DNN model for large vocabulary have 800 input features, 5-layer network, 1,000 neurons per layer, 8,000 audible labels, and 12 million weights. The training data includes 1,000 hours of speech with transcriptions and need one-week training time on GPU form. Compared with CDGMM HMM, the new recognition system, CDDNHMM, improved 5.8% and 9.2% accuracy with minimum phone error, MPE, and maximum likelihood, ML, criteria. Google's DNN speech production systems in 2013 have the information of neural networks as follows. The inputs use 26 frames of 40-dimensional filter bank. There are eight hidden layers of 2,560 hidden units. Activation function uses recited linear units, ReLU, which was proposed by Zeller in 2013. There are 14,000 outputs. The deep models have 85 million parameters trained on 2,000 hours of speech data and run quantized with 80 bits integer weights. On Android phones, it can run a smaller model with 2.7 M parameters. There are many variants of neural network for ESR. Convolutional neural networks were used for speech recognition in 2012. CN model convolves a filter with the input. Weight theory shifts parameters and gives invariance to frequency shifts. Recurrent neural networks kiss one frame at a time but store a history of the previous frames, so could theoretically model long-term context. Long short-term memory was improved and promoted by Graves in 2013. It is a successful spe specialization of the recurrent neural networks with complex memory cells. The spectrogram obtained by the analysis of the entire speech signal is treated as an image, and the deep convolutional network widely used in image can be used to recognize it. Applying the idea of convolutional neural network to the acoustic modeling of speech recognition, the environments of convolution can be used to overcome the diversity of the speech signal itself. The CN has three key properties. Locality, weight sharing, and pooling. Locality in the units of the convolution layer allows more robustness against the non-white noise where some bands are cleaner than the others. With sharing can also improve model robustness and reduce overfitting as each weight is learned from multiple frequency bands in input instead of just from one single location.
in Polling, the same feature values computed at different locations are pulled together and represented by one value. The hybrid CNHMM framework uses a softmax output layer on top of the CAN to compute the posterior probabilities for all HM states. These posteriors are used to estimate the likelihood of all HMM states per frame. Finally, the likelihoods of all HMM states are sent to a Vita B decoder to recognize the continuous stream of speech units. In 2015, researchers proposed the CLDNN, CN plus LSTM plus DNN framework to learn the speech front end with raw waveform. For deep modeling capacity, DNN is suitable for feature mapping to independent spaces. ISTM has long and shorter memory capacities. And CNN is good at reducing the diversity of speech signals. So a good speech recognition system is a combination of these networks. In recent years, speech recognition has entered an area of end-to-end -end processing. The end-to-end -end recognition method mainly changes the cost of function, but the model structure of the neural network has not changed much. The acoustic model using CTC, connectionist temporal classification, as the loss function does not need to align the data in advance. Only one input sequence and one output sequence are needed to train the model. In 2015, Google designed a speech recognition system with CTC-trained LSTM. CTC solves a problem that the input sequence and the output sequence are difficult to correspond one to one. CTC introduces a new loss function to make RNN network directly use the unsegmented sequence for training. CTC can achieve both alignment and recognition. As shown in the figure, RNN CTC actually delegates the alignment of HMM to the output layer of the network. In 2015, Baidu proposed the Deep Speech 2 system, which uses end-to-end -end speech recognition in English and Mandarin. The system showed good performance when it was trained on 12,000 hours of conversational read mixed speech and used the non-layers RNN with CTC cost. End-to-end -end refers to directly inputting raw data, letting the model learn the features by itself, and finally outputting the result. There are no longer independent acoustic models, pronunciation dictionaries, language models, and other models in the system. Instead, a neural network is directly connected from the input, speech waveform or feature sequence to the output, word or character sequence, to make this neural network to assume the functions of all the original models. One of the challenges of end-to-end -end deep learning is that it requires a lot of data to make the system perform well. Let's have a summary of deep learning in speech recognition. Most of the recognition systems with deeper models still combine HMM technique or make use of its idea. We can directly model a context-dependent tied trifold states through DNN. The training criterions include cross-entropy loss and then MMI, maximum mutual information loss, with sequence level. 
Features used in deep models include male frequency sector coefficients, MFCC, and then filter bags. There are some training and regularization techniques such as batch normalization, distributed SGD, stochastic gradient descent, and job out to improve the efficiency and generalization of model training. The acoustic modeling can use different types of network structures like CNN, CDC, and CLDNN. Language modeling often uses RNN in risk scoring paths. When using deep learning technology in speech recognition, the model training needs even more data and more diverse, such as noisy, accents, and so on. And even more GPUs will be used to enhance the computing efficiency. Nowadays, there are still lots to do in speech recognition. That's all for this session. See you next session. Thank you.